Are you ready? For what? Let's go. The Captain Max Show. When? How? Now, now on video, on YouTube. <laughs> you can see it. Steady, steady, steady. Don't get too ego excited. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Links to the previous ones will be in the description, and when I get round to it, I'll put those links in the other previous ones as well. Um, our, our good friend here put out... We've been putting out a series of videos at the moment called What What Does Creator Actually Want? What, cre what Does Creator Want? Hmm. And um, we don't want to do like 20 of them, so we want to try and get some more in now. We did a part five, which was just a taster. This is actually the real part five, but we can call it part six, not to be confusing. <laughs> Although somebody last night was watching part four, and they put in the, the comments, can you tell me where part, three part, is. Three, part two and three is? So basically, if you look in the description below of this video, yeah. you'll see Mark Salon with a C, Mark Salon with an S, and Sri Lanka C. They're the three channels that put out our videos. So, Kek and Mac, What Creator Wants Part 2 might be on Sri Lanka C, and Part 3 might be on Mark Salon with an S. Mm -hmm. So, have a look, or subscribe to all three channels. Well, or I will actually put them, like I say, the links in the description of this video. Also, if you just want to subscribe to one channel, just go to BitChute or Daily Motion. subscribe to me on there, because everything I put out goes on there, usually before it goes onto YouTube as well. We got that? Yeah. So here we are again, part five or part six, what does creator or really 5 want? Or 5.1. Yeah, could we? Yeah, 5.1. <laughs> Somebody will say, where's part five? Well, you find it on those channels. So, <laughs> everybody got that? Okay. Right, we'll continue. So I've skipped up to from chapter 16, which Ooh, we're going to go sipping. back to. I've lost it. It's the one that you marked up at an angle. Oh, it's there, look. There we go. So we've gone to page 134 from page 98, actually. And there's something that we just want to talk about today because we think this is quite good. Mm -hmm. So just to quickly go over what we've been saying is that basically what you've been lied to about everything your entire life because yes. of the veil of forgetting. No, no, not because the veil of forgetting. The veil of forgetting just stops you from remembering your previous incarnations. Recalling. This, and this, who you are the, in... The lying, the lying, that comes totally and 100% from government. That's another word, governmental. Mental, meaning the mind, and governor, meaning the controller. So we've gone over this. But basically, it's a bit of a shock, but you're also immortal. Not only are you gods and goddesses, yeah, you're mm -hmm. actually immortal. But don't get bigoted about it because so are we. Not in these vessels we call human bodies, which we come here for a, an individual experience of physicality. To learn this one single lesson, that's all we're here for. But many still keep missing it. Some people have to have 1,024 lives before they realise who they are. And you can tell who have had not too many physical lives as human beings. Yes. Because they do stupid things like yeah. Trump and May and Cameron and Bush and Obama. And this just make money for their mates with uh, bombs. <laughs> a little bit like that royal baby idea. <laughs> if MI5 use that, shall I copyright it? Oh, yeah. Squirrel. So basically, we're all, we don't like the word God, we prefer the word creator. And what does creator want? Nothing. Now, zero. Nada. Okay. Move it, squirrel, or you're going to get run over. That's it. Oh, yeah, squirrels. All of a sudden, when we start talking about stuff like this, all the animals start to come near. Mm. You watch the fish will come out of the river in a bit. <laughs> Flying fish. So, if everybody, I know it's a bit of a shock, but you're gods. You're, you are creator, and creator is all that is, all that ever was, all that ever can be. And so are we. But basically, what creation or creator is, is just one thing. At the moment, we actually might think that some people it's like he supports one football club and I support another football club so we're arch enemies and we try and kill each other. That's called divide and conquer by the way. And then you have uh, in America where you can vote for your mind controllers you've got the Democratic Republicans and the Republican Democrats. There's one word that repeats itself. Yeah. Demon and another word Republic. Yeah. You know the people's Republic of China? The yes. Irish Republic. They're all Republics which is a dick. Dictator. Ship. Okay. So, just to get that clear, for those that don't usually watch our videos, we are living in a dictatorship. No matter where you are on the planet, 
whether that be flat or round. <laughs> Have you seen the spherical jokes that we keep putting from metaphysics books at the end of our videos? Interesting, eh? Talk about spheres and balls. Your planet is a ball of light. Mm -hmm. You are on upon a sphere. You exist upon a sphere and you're actually co-creators of that sphere. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what we've got is our public servants, so we reckon they're not needed at all anymore because no. they're only there for their limited Well, mates. if you look at what's happened over the last 30 years, everything that they have done has been to the detriment of us. They haven't done anything other selves. for us. So, if they haven't been able to do anything in 30 years, we've got no use for them, no need for them. Time for them to go. They it's, can do one. It's not working, is it? No. Government is definitely, might be working well, for them. Yeah. And don't forget, you vote for a party, and they certainly have a party at your expense. Make sure you pay your taxes. And they're having a hell of a time, then going and murder. They're using our public funds to go and fund wars to murder other selves. And they use our most immature that end up joining the army and the air force and the navy. We'd like to actually say, you know, that there's that, those two ships, Elizabeth and Philip, um, that the military in the UK... The, that they haven't got enough sailors to... They haven't got enough sailors. We'd like to say thank you to our young men and women who are not joining the armed forces. Yes. We respect you for that. Yes. We don't respect you for joining the armed forces thinking that you're going to go and do something good because it's all under God. I'm going to defend good. the Queen and country! Who and from? They're actually Who from? Who from? From ourselves. From That's ourselves. the only ones that it needs to be defended from, from the government and the Queen and the Royal. That's who they, we need to be defending from. And we, we, we realise that our negative other selves don't realise who they are. Mm. They don't realise that they're creators. We're all one thing, which is split into infinity. Okay? So what we're going to talk about today is the greed and avarice and abuse of power. And really, we truly believe that these institutions called government, police, courts and councils shouldn't have any power whatsoever None if they're supposed whatsoever. to be public servants. Yes. Absolutely Does a slave not. have what? power? Yep, yeah, exactly. Does a servant have power? They're there to serve. You either pay them to serve or you whip them into serving. And we're all being whipped into, into slavery. Yes. You will do this. You will pay tax. That's slavery. Okay. You got it? Good. Thank you very much. So, the, I will read. The problems with of greed and avarice and abuse of power on your planet, the problems of poverty and hunger and disease, of the poor and the destitute, the hopeless and the helpless, the hungry and the starving, have not gone away, has it? <laughs> no, it hasn't. Those problems have increased, not decreased. Yes. Well, what, how wonderful what, what governments are. How wonderful the councils and the police and... Yeah, they do such a good job of protecting children from being raped by uh, gangs of... Oh, wait, no, they're actually involved in that. Even the UN oh, has done yeah. a wonderful job of protecting uh, every, uh, all of uh, us on the wait, planet. Wait, wait, no, they're involved in it as well. They're not united, are they? No. So what do we need them for? We don't need them either. So we only need ourselves and to come into unity. Yeah. That we realise that we're all one. Yes. And that... And to cause harm to another is simply causing harm to yourself. That's, rev that's more than revolutionary, because it's not going straight back to the same point, yeah. is it? <laughs> well, that's more than revolution. revolutionary, that actually carries on. So that's... Thinking that's, out the box. That's mind-blowing. You know, speaking about thinking out the box, we'll talk about the pyramid and the, the box, but we'll call it a pyramid in a bit. Okay, so thank you very much for that. The problems of disenfranchisement and brewing anger created by the gap between the rich and the poor have not disappeared, has it? Nope. I would say the opposite. We were talking the other day that there are certain people hoarding vast, yeah. huge amounts of money and then dying and just giving it to their kids who just piss it up the wall and buy stupid Ferraris and stuff, things like that. Mm. Not helping other selves because they don't realise who they are in relation to all that is. So, in fact, human society has not closed that gap. It is widened immensely, isn't it? Yeah? Do we really want this? It's not working. It's working for them, their mates, oh, yeah. who sell missiles and bombs and nuclear weapons. It's like in, in today, this morning's um, where are your nuclear weapons news? Um, I did a thing about that. Uh, one of the MPs has deliberately spoke for half an hour on a subject where it only has limited time to stop the NHS from buying cheap uh, drugs because they've gone past their um, copyright date. 
It always goes to the highest bidder. But because he's probably got shares in the company who supply it, he made sure that he spoke and spoke and spoke so that we couldn't get, the NHS couldn't get cheap, free, or free drugs. Like Theresa May says that um, cannabis oil has no yeah. medical benefit whatsoever, <laughs> and yet her husband's got 43 acres that grows it with Phillips. Just Dutch go on, you, go on YouTube or MeWe or any of these you can channels, find and you'll, you'll see people saying, oh, "I was left to die. I was going to die, and I decided to treat myself with cannabis, a natural product, a natural plant herd, and it cured me." So if it has no medical benefits... You know what I have to say, Cure? David Cameron will lock you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I didn't say that. That's what the person who was talking about it said it, and they're allowed to because they had it and they did cure themselves. I understand. You, you wouldn't believe this, would you, if we told you? But we've just met a woman mm. who actually managed to get hold of some of that oil yep. from somewhere, from the Netherlands, I think. She went over there, or her daughter did. And she's got fibromyalgia. Or should I say she had mm. fibro... Is it fibro or fibromyalgia? Yeah. And she says she took it, and two hours later, the the shakings stopped, and then the skeleton, the pain went away, mm. and then she says she felt like she'd had a couple of shots, and she <laughs> felt a little tipsy, and uh, we're like, so it works? Oh yeah, one hundred percent it works. Yep. Yeah, it gets rid of it, and I couldn't quite believe it. The more and more I hear about this wonderful, the government call it a drug. But, but pharmaceuticals are drugs. In chemicals. fact, even the police refer to it as medical... Medicinal... Man 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 her herbal. Herbal cannabis, they call it, don't That's they? That's it, yeah. Herbal cannabis. Herbal medicinal cannabis. Yeah. So we as creators, gods, put that on this planet for free. Yeah. And well, it, that's great, isn't it? It is the most special plant ever. So it's a gift from creator. Yeah. By creator to creator. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Wow. What did you think of that idea that we, we, we we're going to get, get my friend Callum to, it's just started to rain. Thank you. We're going to get my friend Callum, hi mate, to try and do a page where we're going to put this plan on for this well-being centre that we've come up with this idea, Kak and Mac have come up with this idea to have a well-being centre, where we, we do it completely legally in a country where they said, yeah, it's okay. And we'd set up a like a farm, but it'd be a well-being centre, and we're going to call it Wellcan, yeah, Wellness Cannabis. But we can't call it Cancer Cure Farm. So we're calling it Wellcan Copyright Trademark before anyone else jumps on the plan. Wellcan, yeah, Wellness and Cannabis. And um, yeah, if anybody out there, we know there's plenty of billionaires on the planet who've got funds that. They don't know they what to do, do with it. If, if somebody wants to have something to do with this, and they, you don't know what you want to do with your money, if you want to try and save the planet, because we're going to give it away for free, we'll live for free, and we'll get people, we've got an expert already from Holland that's going to come and join us, we've spoke to him, he worked for Canna, apparently they make the, you know, the, the liquids that, that's, what's it called, nutrients yeah. that you use to, uh, to grow, uh, and it's completely organic, and they're fully trained from the Canna University. And uh, they've said, yeah, we've, we'll come and advise your uh, things. And um, we've noticed in the comments that there are there are hundreds of people that want to come and join us. Yeah. And other people have come up with the idea. <laughs> Some just for the cannabis. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you, you're not going to get paid because we haven't got any money. We're broke. That's why we're asking for some money. It'll all be set up as a trust. <coughs> and what did you say earlier? So it can continue. So it, the trust can be ongoing and it... it will fund itself. Ah, yes, yes. Sustainable. Yeah. So it would be sustainable don't, don't for the future. Don't use that word. Don't use that word. That's one of their words <coughs> for badness. Okay. Sustainability. Well, it'll look after itself. Yes. It'll be self-funding. And, um, yeah, if there's a millionaire comes along and we need a new plough or an engine for the 4 by 4 for the fields, uh, if you'd like to make a donation, fine. But it, it's for free. It's not for sale. And that's the way Ricky Simpson did it, didn't he? Yeah. And the address of the arrested and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and said that he was a drug dealer. He gave it away for free. And, and then, then... Yeah, yeah. Well, you go on, you say. And then afterwards, some of the police ended up going back round to him. on his door. My me, mum's me got cancer. Can, can you give me some of this? No, you me stole uncle, it all. My uncle Jim's dying of lung cancer. Can we have some medicine? You took all my medicine, says Rick Simpson. So I'm persecuted for cu curing cancer, just like David Noakes. That's inhumane. And that's the way our negative other selves, i.e. mind controllers, work. So we're talking about 
you know, my friend said earlier on, think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Well, we told this often, my friend Jessica, she's, I said, have you ever thought about this? Think outside the box. But I created the box. And she's like, really? I said, think about it like this. Have you heard of, she wanted to know about the Illuminati. We've gone over some of this before. But you see on the dollar bill, don't you? The pyramid with the eye in it. And the eye is at the 99th position, just before the cap of the pyramid, which is the final portion to put on the top. Yeah? So it's at the 99th level. That is called enlightenment. The 33rd level, which is only a third of the way of the pyramid, is the highest degree in Freemasonry, the Illuminati. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, the 66.6 .6 level, the Lucifer level, is where time and space are altered like this, and the aging process can be altered. The 99th level is just before the cap. Now, if you step out of the pyramid, not only are you illuminated, you're enlightened, but you realize that you become the light. But not only what the light is, because the light is the creator, because light is the only material that exists. <coughs> Try to tell scientists that. They can't. <laughs> It doesn't have a speed nor travel, it's repeated wave field to wave field in cycles of nine octaves. Then you realise that, guess what? What? You created the pyramid. Oh, I created the box, I created the pyramid. Not only are you the pyramid, you created the pyramid, you are the light. The living, loving, living light. That's my mind. So, if creator or God is not the highest point in a pyramid that passes authority down the line, but is rather the power that exists in the whole line and is therefore, in a sense, the line itself, what does that do to the top-down power over structures upon, so it, upon which so much of human society is built by your governments and religious teachers? This is getting interesting. It disrupts them. Oh dear, they get, they're getting upset about our videos already. We're saying that there isn't any race, there isn't any colour, and there isn't really any sex. There is just well, one. there's lots of sex going on. There's just one. There's just one. Humanity. And humanity is creation. And everything in this galaxy, this, this planet, whether it be whatever, everything in it is actually you, because we're all one thing, split into infinity. So if we would cause any ill will, harm or loss to any of you, like some of you wish on us, we love you, you've got no say in it, and that pisses you off sometimes, doesn't it? We absolutely love you, no matter what you think of us. We'd like you to love us, but of course. It's your choice. But really, we're all one thing. So why one consciousness. would we do harm to ourselves, to any of creation? You wouldn't go and... What was that? <laughs> what was that? Strange things happen sometimes. Well, strange to the strange, or weird to the weird. So, we've had 19 minutes of this so far. We want to try and keep it down to 20, 25 minutes, because we know we've got a lot to say about this. So anyway, the top-down power over structures on mind controllers, it disrupts them, that's what. It denies them their borrowed authority. <laughs> As we say, we, we don't think they should have any power whatsoever. They're no. supposed to be servants. For this reason, powerful people, religions, organisations, governments, police, Councils, not the least amongst them, are not likely to encourage the teachings of a creator who is one with everything. They wouldn't be needed at all, would they? No. A power with, rather than a power over, you know, God in my right, um, evil to him who evil thinks. Yes, but explain to them where that is. On Theresa May's, on the Queen's royal crest. Mm. You know, um, or is it? Yeah, God and my right. And on Donald Trump, Trump's seal, the puppet, the brainwashed, hypnotised fool, <clears throat> infant, it says, in God we trust. Well, we don't trust in government. No one and does. All of the other co-creators, are other gods and creators out there, do you trust? Because it ain't working, is it? No. So it's a bit that time to unite. But don't get big-headed about it. Oh, I'm God, I can do anything. I create this entire universe. Can you imagine what we could do if we all just fell into love with each other? Or just fell out of hate, hatred? Mm -hmm. That all our minds could get together? Hi to Johnny Zero, by the way, who we've just met for a coffee. And we were talking about cloud busting, because five of us, it was this cloud in the sky, and we just stood there. 
I thought this is like rubbish. And we willed it to vanish. And guess what? I was there. It vanished. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't witness it myself. Can you imagine millions of minds getting together? Well, the government controls millions of minds and says, oh yeah, we actually believe that it's, it's correct or right to go to war. <laughs> so, we could unite. Can you imagine how, if our minds can generate systems and planetary game spheres mm -hmm. like this, what else can it? Surely a little tranquility shouldn't be so difficult. A little paradise. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, for this reason, powerful people and organisations and all the, all the rest um, are not likely to encourage the teaching of the Creator who is one with everything. So, a power with rather than a power over kind of Creator. If the words Creator and Life are interchangeable, the implications are, if it's possible to imagine this, more than enormous. This is history-breaking, groundbreaking, unbelievable stuff. They're staggering, earth-shaking, paradigm-shattering. Do you want to change? Or do you want to be stuck on this planet that's not moving anywhere? This is because every no everyone knows what is truth about life. Everyone may not know what is true about Creator, but everyone knows what is true about life. What is true about life? Is that nothing stands outside life. Nothing's disconnected. Everything is connected. Nothing exists without life, and life does not exist if nothing exists. You are the expression of life itself. So is everything around you. Even so-called inanimate objects are found when examined under a microscope to consist of particles constantly in motion. These particles and their movements are all part of life. Indeed, everything in the observable universe is life in some form. And our mutual friend here was saying that all of it is consciousness thought, thought form, which forms electromagnetic energy, E units, which come from consciousness units. And everything is thought form. The only, the only thing that exists is love, and the only material is light. We're on a ball of light. Mm. The existence of life is confirmed by life itself. Life is self-referencing, self-confirming, self-sustaining and self-evidence. So if we're self-sustaining and we put everything on this planet here for free, what do we have to pay tax and governments for? Of which there is no law that says you have to pay tax. Correct. We're still waiting from Diana Barger. Eight, <laughs> seven or eight years now. I haven't got my law book with me. We're still waiting for it. So not only does everyone know these things, everyone agrees with these things. What makes what is being said here so dangerous is what happens when the word creator is inserted where the word life appears. This produces this result. Nothing stands outside you or creator or us. Nothing exists without creator and creator does not exist if nothing exists. Now thank you everybody for watching. If you've got any questions, pop them in the Comments. Comments. And we're only halfway through this book, by the way. If you want some more, ask for some more. If you don't want any more, don't watch. <laughs> if this is true, the only prayer to ever say is a prayer of gratitude. And that is, in fact, the only prayer that any master has ever uttered. Here is the most powerful prayer I know of. I use it and often. Thank you, Creator, for helping me understand that this problem has already been solved for me.